That's what six PSI will get you. Clicky, clicky, but nobody's home. Motor is smoked. Turn your headlights on. There you go. See if the winch is working, it's had a lot of time to rest. Clicky, clicky, but nobody's home. I get it. Six o'clock. Still digging. I can see the diff. That's a big plus. There's a lot of snow under here. Forty-three update. Still digging. Been digging for the last solid hour, maybe longer. Not sure when I got started. Uh, the turtle is well. The turtle is still there, but I can almost see underneath the jeep. It's that back axle that got me the last time, and the front axle is still kind of bad. So uh, that's the plan. Keep digging. Jessica confirmed. She's on her way and should be heading up that road any moment now. Rest of my ass. 
Keep digging. Keep digging. Be a beautiful night. I think we're expecting rain. I don't see many clouds. Front axle looks pretty dug out. I can see under the deck. Work on the rear a little bit more. I might just give it a spin or two just to see what happens. Rescue. See here, rescue willow. Lady might hear rescue. Come on, girls, load up. Let's go. Come on, girls. Come on, willow. Load up. Come on, up you go. Good girl. Good girl. Just turned on my radio. How you doing? Jesus Christ, there you are. I thought you would have had it on. Well, I've been digging, you know. I just got unstuck. I'm gonna uh, make another run at it. I'm probably gonna get stuck again. Seven o'clock, darling. I need you to turn around and come home. I'm not going forward. I turned around about four hours ago. Excellent. I've just been getting stuck on my way home. Okay, are you very far from that little jog in 1540? Uh, not very, and that's where I'm headed, but it's very deep right there, and I'm expecting to get stuck again. Well, Dad's walking up. I'm going to continue trying to get to you. Fantastic. Thank you, thank you.
made some progress, but just slid right out of my tracks. Hopefully uh, Jessica and Tom will be coming right up here in just a second. I see headlights. Hey oh, do, Mac. Oh, do you see headlights? <clears throat> yes, I see headlights. You're within sight of me. Can I please have your air down kit? <clears throat> Yep, 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 I'll bring you right on over. Air down. Get oh, yeah. Thank you for coming and saving me. I got stuck once after the winch died. <clears throat> Two hours and got myself dug out. And then I got myself stuck again. And that one only took me an hour and a half to dig out. No, I, I seem to be improving my efficiency. That or I, uh, ooh, what's that? Oh, dry stocks, fantastic. Wait till I get back to a uh, Jeep with dry boots. These are aquariums. Um, I have the air down kit, but the snow is not terribly bad around this corner. So we may want to, if you're still aired up, <clears throat> push it just another couple feet because you may not be able to get close enough to make it easy to winch me, but we've got plenty of straps and extension cords where are you? <laughs> right around the corner. Come on. Uh, no. <clears throat> but I've got two 20-foot straps, plus Jessica's 30-foot strap, plus plenty of other stuff. Well, there's about feet. Yeah. So I'm thinking we get Jessica right about here, because you see the shallow, the snow is pretty shallow here. I work to get my, myself through that. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, there's some nice gravel right here that you can... We can. Yeah. There she goes, she's doing good. Working it. You guys, you actually change the oil about every thousand miles. Yeah. Well, the way it's leaking, you are changing. Yeah, hard. I know, I know. Um, I take it that's our, us being summoned, perhaps, or yeah. It's uh, working that hard. Get this rigged up, let's get out of here. Or at least get over there to where my Jeep is. No good?
should have spent some time this week and looked at that. Alrighty. Well, I guess I'm going to go dig myself out. You're stuck. Uh, you want to try a double end pole while I dig? Or do you need me to rig that up for you? I'll rig that up. Why'd you pull the winch out? The winch is, uh, the motor's burned. Oh, we can't pull with that. No. Nope. It'll wreck the, uh, it'll wreck the, uh, uh, drew, uh it'll wreck the drum bearings. Okay. Um, go for it. You think you can do it? Do it. Um, Miss Jess is missing some of her recovery gear. I walked up here to get a snatch ring. Recovery ring. One of these. She's got one in her Jeep and I've got two in mine. She can't find hers. So I had to walk over here to get get one. Yeah, have at it. Um, in the uh, back of the Jeep are two, rec in the, uh, <clears throat> I'll show you. Oh, you're fine. Um, here's an option for you if you want to play with it. Um, the recovery boards. You unzip that, you can pull the boards out. They're there if you want to try them. They're nice because they give you a little bit of a ramp. And you're welcome to them. I wanted you to know where they are. They're in the footwell of the passenger. They're brand new and they're in boxes. I just went to the post office and picked them up. Back in a bit. No, absolutely not. That uh, I will. That that winch will be garbage at that point. Well, yes, but right now I I might be able to talk Warren into giving me a new motor. If I pull. I'm trying to have some semblance of warranty. All right. Well. I think Jessica's Jeep is a no-go. Her winch is cutting out and has no pulling power. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to dig my Jeep out again and hopefully we can get it down here and then hopefully we can use it to get Jessica unstuck. That's about all we got going for us right now. It's, I think, seven o'clock and it's getting dark fast. Last time I had to dig out completely underneath the Jeep in order to get it uh, unstuck. That's why it took me two hours. Um, oh yeah, I know. That's why I knew I was stuck. So uh, Jessica's winch is toast. 
Yep. Oh, that's really fun. Yeah. So, uh, I need to dig this out. We get her Jeep stuck, then we're really stuck. Well, it is stuck. She's completely stuck. And her winch is shot. It's not doing any pulls or anything. Uh, I don't think she checked anything before she left. She just jumped in her Jeep and went. Yeah. So, I need to start digging. All right, I have no idea if that just recorded. All the batteries on my phones are dead, things like that. I got a fresh battery in this little camera. Um, I just finished digging Jessica out. Uh, we used a triple line pole because her winch has absolutely no power. And we were able to work her around a little bit back and forth and I was able to dig out from underneath it. And then we put the recovery boards on the back side of her Jeep and she was able to back up. So she's free, she's unstuck. I've made a post on Lane County uh, 4x4 Recovery, so hopefully we'll have some cavalry coming up here shortly. Uh, I tried to get Jessica to go home, but she's waiting for me. So I am still working on digging this Jeep out, and I'm really close. So I'm going to keep digging, and uh, hopefully I can get free. Digging, <laughs> almost cleared out. <laughs> yeah, this is how Mac has fun on the Saturday night. Indeed. <laughs> Yeah, even if we got through that okay, I probably would not have gotten through the <laughs> the giant hole he came up through. What are you going to do now, Mac? Um, I think I'm going to turn on the back end a little bit, and then I think I'm going to try pulling it forward. What are you doing there? What are you doing there? What are you doing there? <laughs> you being silly. You being silly. Willow, why aren't you helping him? Dig. This is your one chance to dig. Oh. <laughs> She's like, that was too much. Did you dig all the way through, Mac? Okay. Did you dig all the way through? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're soaking. You are soaking wet. The camera. I was soaking wet six hours ago. <laughs> yeah. So just don't stop moving then, right? You'll get, right, yeah. that's that exactly. All right. So what's your plan here? <laughs> Go. Slowly lose myself out of the hole. Do you want me to drive so you can spot? Slowly lose myself out of the hole. Okay. I've done this three times now. I don't. Okay. Have patience to show uh, sure, another person sure, how sure, to do sure, it. Sure, sure. So I'm okay. slowly going to use myself out of the hole, and once I get to the end of the ramp, I'm going to give it hell and go like crazy. All right, good luck. Um, please don't keep the dogs back. Yep. Because if I have to stop because the yeah. dogs are there. Yep. hang on to the dogs. Yeah. Turn your headlights 
it's on. There you go. Stay, stay back. Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. Well, no, no. Stay back. Willow, back! Yeah, you made it through that hole. Yay! Sweet. You made it through that hole. Cool. Do we have anything here we need to pick up? <laughs> He's going. He's still going. He must be in low. There you go. Uh, yep. And then the track, there's one under the snow there. Woohoo! Yay! Nice job, babe! I'm pretty scotch. I'm gonna be pretty. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We gotta get through uh, Jessica Hall. Yeah. Oh, always carry a tarp.
You're welcome. Do you want a towel? I also have a towel. prepared for staying here for a lot longer, then we would have gotten out right away. So really I should have done that, huh? Right. Thank you everybody for watching. Hope you have a great day. It is 10.30 at night and we are tired and airing up and getting out of here. Will that weight spool in at all? No, it's completely fried. Okay. The only thing you can do is put it on free spool and then manually wrap your fingers. Yep.